G'day guys, George here from Billy Goat Gym again. We're out at Lisdale State Forest and that is the Cox's River behind me there. It is absolutely overflowing because of the amount of rain that we've had lately. And we're going to give Fire Truck Hill a go today. Let's see how the Jimny goes. Fire Truck Hill is a medium to hard track and the reason it's medium to hard is because it gets so steep so quick. In some sections of track it goes up 50 metres in elevation in only 150 metres worth of track. I would definitely recommend a suspension lift, upgraded tyres and a winch at minimum to do this track. Once you cross the Cox's River, you're ready to start the actual track itself. Now, the beginning of it can be quite easy. You can either head up to the left or to the right. The right is an easy track. I opted to go to the left because it looked a bit more fun. Now, I first gave it a go with lockers on and it worked fine. Then I thought I'd give it a go without lockers and as you can see, I didn't have much luck up this hill at all. Um, I then tried it just with a rear locker on and managed to get up, albeit with a bit of wheel spin. You see the top of that hillway up there? That's where we're going. This, this is scary. A lot steeper than I thought it was when I um, first got here. But... Now that I've walked up there and set the cameras up, I'm starting to uh, get a bit worried about this. So, taking the hardest line, both lockers in, and wish me luck. this if I can get out of the car. Now I always think it's a good idea to throw a tree trunk protector around the tree. This tree had a heap of damage done to it by people just putting their cables straight around the trunk. This is an uncomfortable feeling, but I do feel a lot better now that the winch is on. Ah, I forgot to turn the clutch. I probably should mention here too that as soon as I jumped out of the car I found the biggest rocks I could find and chocked up the rear tyres to make sure the car didn't go down that hill. The seatbelt doesn't want to work, that's why it's not on. Otherwise, believe me, I'd have it on. I'd have two of them on if I could.
Once you get past the crux of the hill, then the rest of it's just good fun. Uh, didn't have to winch, it didn't even really need the lockers after that, but it's uh, still a good technical drive. Now you'll find that most of Lisdale State Forest and a lot of Lithgow area is just shaly sharp rocks so make sure you put your tyres down to a reasonable uh, pressure. I went down to about 18 pounds in both the front and the back. There you have it guys, this track was awesome fun, great day out and not too far from Sydney. Come give it a go. Right, so the idea of these track reports is to give a bit of an in-depth view of specific tracks in different areas. One of the biggest problems I have when I um, go out for wheel driving, especially when I first started, um, I'd go out to these areas that I'd watch YouTube videos on or other DVDs on and I'd, I'd spend half my day looking for these tracks. So rather than do an overall view of a, a trip or a whole area, I thought I'd do just individual in-depth looks at certain tracks and give you a bit of an idea of how those tracks are suited to the Jimneys. Now, obviously they're, they're not a big truck, they have a very short wheelbase and as such, you have to drive them differently. You don't notice as much going up hills. It's actually a bit of an advantage because you can sort of scoot in and around things. When you go downhills though, it's a completely different story. It is bloody scary. Uh, the back end always lifts up. you always got wheels in the air and you're puckering up. So if you know of any tracks around New South Wales that you'd like to see the Jimny have a go of, drop me a comment below and don't forget to like and subscribe. Cheers guys, I'll chat to you later.